today's video, we're doing another character mashup. And not just another one, we're basically doing a follow-up to the last one. So I'm not gonna bother by wasting any more of your time with anything else, and we're gonna get right into it. So, who's going first this time around? Well, this time, it's Withered Bonnie and Mangle. So, like I usually do, I decided that I would need to pick one of them to use as a sort of base to work off of. And so in that matter, I decided to start with Withered Bonnie. So when it came to trying to mix in elements of Mangle, I wanted to give him longer, more wibbly limbs and extensions. And when I say extensions outside of his limbs, I mean his ears and wires. But aside from that very obvious information that I had no need to say, I generally wanted to just make him feel more entangled, you know? Make him feel like more of a mess. So I gave him more wires that kind of jumped out from places, he's got a crooked stance, his arm kind of wraps around his shorter leg to hold him up a little more, that kind of stuff, you know? On top of that, I added a few things here and there that tried to make it feel like pieces were kind of mismatched or taken off and put back where they weren't supposed to. Like the lower half of his right arm being attached to his leg. Or the exact same thing, but with his ears. But I still wanted to make sure I carried over some of the most iconic aspects of the original character's design. That being his exposed endo foot and hand, his, in this case, mostly missing arm, and of course his face, which is nowhere to be found. Now for the colors, I wanted to make them feel like a bit of a mix of the both, with one change that doesn't really come from either of them. That being his wires, which now look more like a shredded up pride flag stapled to random parts of his body. And also a purple tie. Now, as a little fake easter egg that I'm going to completely lie to you about right up front in your face, every character has a little bit of purple in them, if you just look hard enough. But apart from that, there's not much else to go into. I did decide to go with a zero background look for this one. One, because I thought it fit the character well, weirdly enough, but two, it was by far the easiest option to make. The only other thing I could really say is I tried to go in with some textured brushes to make him look a little matted and dirty. And hey, maybe let me know if you think the effect worked. Now, the next two characters I got are a little on the weird side. That being Shadow Bonnie and Candy Cadet. Now honestly, these two didn't combine that poorly. Largely because there was one very obvious route that I could have taken at the very beginning, and I, in fact, did choose to take that route. But, you know, these characters aren't too different apart. I mean, one, they both appear in Ultimate Custom Night Ruin DLC. Now, going into what I decided to do for the drawing, it's a very, very simple process that you've probably already picked up by watching this. That being a symmetrical design with Candy Cadet and Complete Shadow with some white highlights. But I did want to do something for the background, and so I figured I would pick more from the original Candy Cadet design and give him some nice rainbow coloring. That way at least a little bit of his colorful personality comes through. But honestly, there isn't too much to say about this guy. This drawing was done pretty simple and pretty fast, and I honestly kind of like it. I have a lot of issues with it, but we don't need to get into that right now. My self-esteem is already as low as it can go. Now, speaking of quick and simple drawings, this one was definitely the fastest and easiest. That being the puppet and old man consequence. Now, these ones actually do share some level of similarity. In no way are those similarities related to their designs, in that aspect they couldn't be farther apart. But they do both seem to hold some level of importance in the lore. The puppet, more than old man consequences, definitely, but he's not not important. Now, so for the drawing itself, I decided to go a very simple route again, because I really like the idea. I wanted to stick with Old Man Consequences' pixely, retro art style, but I thought seeing the puppet in this art style would be pretty fun, and it was. I also wanted to make sure I stayed within the same general color of red, you know, and I also gave them a fishing rod, to maybe imply that they have the same role in the lore here. Now beyond the drawing itself, I did try to do a mix of different effects and blending modes and little tests in order to really get that retro, old gamey look and feel. A lot of Gaussian blurs, bloom, and overall deep frying of the image. Once again, not much to say here about this one because it's a very quick drawing, so I'll just breeze on through to the next one. So our next two characters are Bonbon and the security puppet. Now if you ask me, 
these two look like they would get along great. They're the two characters who seem to share the same single brain cell, but at the same time never appear on screen together. But getting into the design itself, I already kind of knew what I wanted to do. But the puppet being, well, the puppet, it was pretty easy to come up with the idea of just put the puppet on the hand. But I did briefly consider doing it the other way around. But having a puppet like Rabbit just seemed way too similar to the first idea. And overall way too generic. Unlike this, which is completely original and should be praised. But I didn't want to just slap the exact same character over the hand. It does look a lot like that, but there are a few things I changed. For one, a couple of proportions. For example, to make the puppet feel smaller, I made the button on his chest a lot bigger. But on top of that, I also doubled the amount of weird head tentacle things she has. In order to kind of reference Bon Bon's ears, you know. Other than that, I also shifted their colors to be a little blue. I mean, by the end of the drawing, it's a little hard to tell that because the entire thing is pretty dark and a little purpley. But it is there, I promise it is. For the background, I decided to kind of loosely reference Funtime Freddy's area, and sister location. So I kind of just made it a big mess of quote-unquote wires. And overall, that's about it for this character. Now, our last drawing of the day has me feeling a little conflicted. The two characters I got were Toy Freddy and Balloon Boy, and honestly, this matchup was pretty simple. I feel like anyone would have thought about this. And overall, with as simple of a concept this one was, I feel kind of conflicted about it. I don't hate it, I just think the drawing itself could have been a little better. But beyond the drawing itself, I did decide to add a little bit more to this one, primarily through the look of the camera. Lots of layering, chromatic aberration, glowing, outlines, grain, that kind of stuff. And I kind of like it. At least as an experiment, you know. But now, quickly just going back to the drawing itself, it's pretty easy to see what I did here. I turned Toy Freddy from a man baby to a literal baby and dressed him up in clothing. And, as you have probably already noticed, I gave him two hats. Now believe it or not, but this is a prime example of just how stupid my brain can be sometimes. It's marvelous if you really think about it. But aside from that, it's pretty self-explanatory. I hope you still enjoyed this one. I definitely had fun messing around with the effects and layers. And that's it for the video. Another five drawings down and another video up on the channel. Now don't worry, I will make non-FNAF related videos, I just really needed to get the excitement out of my system after the movie released. But that doesn't mean I'll never make it again, especially if you guys say you want it. So please, go down to the comments below and let me know what you think. And now you have reached the end of the video. I have nothing more to say, nothing interesting to add, I'm just gonna kind of ramble a little bit too long. 